Hi guys, welcome back to Till Back and Do Us Part. It's been a while since I filmed my kitchen tour and when I did it, it was towards the beginning of when I was a YouTuber and I was doing it off my phone so it wasn't good quality and I feel like I've been getting a ton of questions lately about either how I organize or how to organize small spaces or what to do in the kitchen so I thought it was perfect timing to do an updated um, kitchen organization video. So I'm gonna start off by giving you four tips for organizing your kitchen, and then at the end, I'll do a full walkthrough. So definitely do not miss that. Stay till the very end. So let's get started. Okay, tip number one is D clutter and when I say this be ruthless and think about everything like when you're going through your Tupperware think about what you actually need and what you're actually using sometimes I think we just keep getting them and getting them and definitely check sometimes these are dirty you've had spaghetti in them they're stained toss those out pull out the new ones and just be very cautious of like you guys are probably doing the dishes every day or every other day so how many do you actually need in your cabinets now if you have a huge kitchen and you have enough room go for it but I know most most of us are complaining that our kitchens are small and we don't have enough space so if you're only keeping what you're using then you tend to grow space because then you can just fill up the area that you need do this um, even with your plastic cups or you know like your Tupperware cups um, just go cabinet by cabinet sometimes I feel overwhelmed if I take like everything out of my kitchen so like start with your cups and go through your cups how how many cups do you really need even if you have like a dinner party think in your head how many people are over and that's the max number of cups you're actually gonna need so you don't have to have you know 50 cups and do this with like coffee mugs do that with your Tupperware do that with your silverware you know and just go cabinet by cabinet door and get rid of those things you're not using and that you no longer need Okay, tip number two is why you're in there, why you cleared out that one whole cabinet, take the time and clean that up. Get the vacuum, get your method spray, get your e-cloth, whatever it is, your Mrs. Myers, clean it out really well before you start putting things back in. If you don't have liners down, you may look into getting those. It makes it easier to clean out. Every time I move into a house, I definitely put those liners down and it just protects, you know, not only your like glassware, but the chip from painting as well. So definitely, you know, I know it's chaotic when you're decluttering. I feel like you can get just like crazy, but definitely like take the time and go through each step because it'll be so much worth it when you're done and you put stuff back into a clean cabinet. And along with that, make sure what you're putting back is clean. Don't put something up. If it looks dirty, if it's been in there a while, go ahead, hand wash it, put in your dishwasher, do what you got to do, but make sure everything's clean when you go to put it back. Okay, tip number three is rearrange. And I know this is hard for some people, but just because you've had your cups in that cabinet for 10, 15 years, doesn't mean that's the best place for them anymore. So get creative, think outside the box. I've probably rearranged my cabinets about three times since we moved here, you know, year and a half, two years ago, um, just because I something works better. I've got to figure out when I'm putting dishes away, what is the most convenient way? Or when guests come in, is it easier to have cups by the refrigerator or over by the sink? Just because you think that's your silverware drawer does not mean that it is so definitely just do what works for you do what works in your kitchen you don't have to use your space like how it's intended but use it for the flow of your life and your lifestyle Okay, and the final tip is tip number four, and that is all about organizing your items. And the best way to do this is to buy supplies. Now, there are all different budgets, and I've had a wide range of budgets as well. So if you're on a low budget, go to the Dollar Tree. You can get what you need from the Dollar Tree. You have to get a little more creative, think outside the box, but it will help. Um, if you have a little bit higher budget, I just went and replaced my Dollar Tree ones with Aldi containers, and they are life-changing. If you have the money, go ahead, order them on Amazon. I'll have some linked below in my Amazon store for you, or if you have a container store, Walmart, Target, wherever. Um, but if you can learn to use vertical space versus wide space, you're gonna get so much more. Because if you open up your cabinet, you're probably using the width of it, but there's probably a lot of gap in between your shelves, and that's wasted space. So if you can get containers that are super tall, then that helps fill that gap, and you're using space that you weren't before 
Plus, it makes it look pretty, which that's just a bonus. Like, not only do I have more space, but it looks nice. And my whole theory is I don't want to open up a cabinet and it make me sad. Like, I don't want to open it up and get stress or anxiety. I want to open up any door, any closet, any drawer and smile because it's so pretty, which I know that's probably super crazy. But the stress that leaves your life when you can open up anything and it's pretty or say you're having house guests come over and you can be like, oh, get whatever you need. Like, I'm not worried if a house guest opens up a drawer to look for something. I'm not like, oh my gosh, they saw inside my junk drawer. Keep everything organized. Then when the holidays and stuff start to roll around, it's already ready to go. Another life-changing tip that's really saved me is the drawer dividers, and I'll show you those when I'm walking through. I got really lucky when we were in between houses, we were garage selling, and this lady had a mountain of these like brand new in the box. I don't know why she had them. I did not buy near enough. They were like a dollar for a two pack. I spent $5, I should have spent like 100 <laughs> and gave them to you guys, but I didn't know my space yet, I didn't know what I was gonna need, but those have been a lifesaver in our drawers. They keep things where they're supposed to be, they keep things from rolling around. So definitely just look at your space and make it work for you. Make it pretty, make it work, and your life will be so much easier. Okay, now I'm gonna take you into my kitchen so you can see how I put all these tips into action and what it looks like when you're finished because you guys will love it when you're done.
guys really liked enjoying this video. If you like this type of video, definitely hit that like button so I know to make more like it. Um, I hope you found some new tips or tricks and you can try something else out in your home before your company comes over for the holidays. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.